Today on the Points Unknown channel, we're installing the JD Jetting uh, Fuel Injection Tuner Kit uh, onto my CRF450L. So first things first, we've got to take off the seat uh, and shrouds and the fuel tank uh, to get to the wiring harness. Um, so that's what we're going to do first. Um, as most folks know, uh, we have the CRF450L, it's pretty herky-jerky off the line, it's prone to uh, surging at, at low, low open throttle. And so I've heard great things about the JD Jetting Tuner. And, uh, and so for a $200 investment, it seemed like a reasonable thing to try. Otherwise, I'm trying to keep the bike uh, pretty stock in terms of exhaust and airbox and everything else just because I enjoy the, uh, the low noise and good fuel economy. But, uh, but I would like it to be a little less jerky off the line, um, a, a little more moderated in the throttle and, um, and a little less prone to stalling. And so um, I tried out a buddy's bike when we were out in Grand Junction, Colorado, and um, it had a JD Jetting, uh, JD Jetting tuner on it, and it, it, it worked flawlessly. I was really surprised, and it felt like a completely different bike, and so so I immediately pulled the trigger, and uh, yeah, let's put this thing together. In an effort to not have to take the fuel tank all the way up, I've lifted up the fuel tank, un unbolted it, and lifted it up, um, and you can see the fuel injection connector here. Um, is this gray connector that goes into the injector. And there's a tab on the back of it. You can press it with your thumb or you can use a needle and those uh, pliers and see if I can get it in there. You can see right here, that's the tab on the outside. And you just have to push that really hard, I guess. And that lifts up a little block and then it comes right out. And that's, that's the connector. And so keep dust away from that. But that's the connector that we're going to be attaching the pigtail to. And so then from here, this is the JD Jetting Power Surge 6X tuner device. It just plugs right in. Again, be very careful not to damage the pins as you're plugging this in because that would be really bad. Might have heard a click there. That was the click that we wanted. And then the same thing goes again down here. If you can see, can you get the camera in here? That's the plug we're shooting for. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's the plug that we goes in, and it goes in with the pin that we push down on the outside so that we can push it again later if we wanted. And then we can get that in here. And probably can't see with my hands and head in the way, but that just goes down like that. Get it nestled up. Oh, nice good click sound there. And that sounds good. As you can see here, let's see, get some light in there. We've got the pigtail attached into the fuel injector there and then the other side of the pigtail attached to the other side of the wiring harness in the ECU there right there with the light on it and I've tucked kind of everything back in well the injector plug is where it has to be and the other plug is tucked in right under the um, the ECU I'm going to kind of zip tie that in and the cables over there so that they're not going anywhere, and then we'll lower the fuel tank down and make sure that everything is in good position and isn't pinched. Uh, but now we need to do the ground. So reading in the instructions, they recommend grounding to this mounting post here, which looks like it has a little bracket. It's holding some of the electronics here, and they just say to mount to that, that guy there. So we'll crack that off. There we go. And it comes off. They've already got the terminal ring, so we'll just pop that out, put this guy on there, there's our grounding lug, and tighten it back down. I think this is just, it's just a mounting bracket, so it's not serving any structural purpose, I think. But we'll just make it nice and tight. And that should be good. And now that we've got the fuel tank, Back on, reattach the breather tube. Vent together. And put the EC back in. There we go, nice little clicks. Yeah, that looks good. And then check all my cables again, just to make sure that everything is 
where I want it to be. Okay, so the next step, now that we got the wiring hooked up, is um, to mount the tuner um, in the appropriate location. And the instructions mention this area here behind the left side panel is being so perhaps not a bad spot. Need to clean it first uh, to make sure that we'll get good adhesion with the Velcro. So rubbing alcohol. This is my piece of mount right in there. So it'll go. Let's see like that I guess. Just like that. to start. concludes the tutorial on installing the JD jetting uh, fuel injection tuner on a Honda CRF 450L. Of course I'll continue to tweak my settings uh, to, to my liking as I go along right now. I've just got a program to, to what folks on the forum say works pretty well um, and what, what, what kind of sounded nice there in the in the driveway but got to get on it, do some riding, different conditions, trails, uh, back roads and such and see see what the best settings are for, for my bike and my particular riding style. I'll post those settings um, as I find them in the description below. So comparing my settings, four on green, four on yellow, that's recommended, four on red for now, and then four or five on green blue. So a little bit higher, it seems to just make it idle just a little bit nicer. Four or five on yellow blue, a little bit smoother too, and then just stock on the red blue for the, the, the surge. So we'll try that on the trail. Got the JD Jetting tuner installed. Got some settings dialed in, and uh, gosh, it almost seems like uh, too smooth. I mean, the roll on the throttle is so relaxed, and it kind of almost lacks some of the spunk that I enjoy out of the bike. I might have to dial the settings back just a little bit, but man, for those that are thinking they. Uh, that it doesn't come throttle down. I, I guess I can't uh, can't agree with that statement. It seems to be very smooth with the settings that I have on the JD tuner right now in terms of the throttle on, throttle off. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see on the Points Unknown channel, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We post content just like this on a monthly basis. And I look forward to seeing you on down the trail. Thanks again, folks.